what's up everyone this is bill uh today i just got a short video for you guys um i ordered these from slingmods.com this is the lid box uh this is so you can hang your helmet from your bar ends uh this is the set that uses the stock factory mirrors okay, they have a couple different kinds of sets that you can order so anyway i just wanted to show you this is what you get in the package we got us a Sling Mods decal. It looks like a, it's just a generic cardboard. And that is what I paid. $79.95. These things are not cheap. But they feels, it feels like a pretty heavy package. That's what she said. Anyway, uh. Okay, so we're going to get them out and uh, install them. I'm going to get one side installed, and then I will uh, let you guys see how to install the other side. Of course, there's other installation videos out there, but I haven't seen an installation video from an actual customer. Uh, Sling Mods has their own video, but of course, everything's going to go smooth for them. They're not going to show you if it doesn't go smooth. Okay, so I'm going to do an actual installation and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to install this side. I'm going to do it for you guys so you can see how smoothly it goes. The other side went really smooth. So you're going to need a T30 Torx bit. I'm going to get this guy loose. And then we're going to... Make things go just a little bit quicker here. We'll take it all this through all the way out. There's a long screw. Okay, you're gonna take that all the way out. Okay. The other the Allen head screw that the kit comes with is a five millimeter Allen. Okay, so your next step is to grab the uh, bar end piece. You grab your bar end piece here, make sure it's got that grub screw at the bottom. Then we're gonna straighten our mirrors. We're gonna put our mirrors up at an angle like this. Them out of the way so we don't scratch them up okay the grub screw is going to go directly straight up and down okay you want to thread this as you push it in there remember there's a piece that it's grabbing a hold of in there so if you just shove that allen head screw way in there you're just going to push that piece further into the handlebars so start threading and let it catch that piece okay i can feel that it's actually going in there now so now we'll grab the drill again that's a five millimeter allen we'll back it out just a hair so we can get it straight we'll do the rest by hand ratchet here Again, make sure that grub screw is straight up and down. Remember your bars are at an angle, so you want that to be straight. Handlebars to be straight. Grub screw straight up and down. using an angle finder to get my angle correct for my mirrors so they're both identical right there 
you know, we're just gonna hold on to your mirror because it's gonna try to spin on you. Okay, that's hand tight. There's no need to use a torque wrench. Remember inside there, there's a mechanism that's pinching up against the metal inside your handlebar. You don't wanna break it. Okay, so there's that. Now we'll grab the little locking mechanism. This will grab one of these. We're gonna get it threaded in there by hand. It should be nice and easy to thread in. Okay, and then we're going to do it in this work again by hand. And we're going to use the key. And the key has a notch. See right there, that little notch, so I'll line up on the notch on here, you don't push it all the way past, and now you can use the key to screw this in, and it should countersink into the bar end. And then just get it as tight as you can, hand tight, remember don't don't break nothing. Okay, there's that. Now we are going to ratchet down this little almond head. Little grub screw down here. This is what locks that lock in there. Okay. So get it. Get in there, get it. A little ugga dugga there. Okay. And there you go. There's your anchor. Okay, so now that you got your lid locks installed, remember this is just a spring-loaded button. And you're going to line that notch up on there in the lock. Turn it to open it. So you can keep your anchors up here in your glove box. Okay, so you take your little anchor that you got you're just going to slide it through the d-ring here like so and then you're going to stick that anchor inside there and you're just going to push the button no key required to lock them okay There you go, it's all locked down. Okay, then when you wanna unlock it, you just line the notch up. You can see on your key here, this little notch right here. You're going to line that up right there on that notch. Okay, remember it's going to fall when you unlock it. It's spring loaded, so. There you go. Then you line it back up to get it out. Okay, nice and simple. Okay, so there it is. That is the lid locks for the handlebars from Sling Mods. There'll be a link in the description to go purchase it from those guys. And uh, I'm just doing this video 
just to show how how they install and how they work okay I'm not advertising for sling mods or anything like that I mean that's where you can get them from though but like I said I paid for these with my own money they're about 80 bucks after shipping okay, so thanks for watching the video you guys have a good day peace